Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. We're still keeping our focus on the outcomes of the Oshun governorship elections. And uh, to throw more light on that is Mr. Dele Adeleke. He's a uh, member of the Adeleke campaign organization, and he's indeed the strategist uh, from that organization. I want to thank you so much indeed for coming on Sunrise Daily. Thank you very much. This is, this is basically what the papers are saying, uh, conflicting figures. 4,740 from the Nigerian Tribune. Uh, Daily Independent says that 4,387 votes uh, ascribed to your party, the PDP, mm. uh, saying that you've been shortchanged. How did you come about these figures? Mm. Thank you. Uh, first, let me clarify the difference in figures. Um, what you have in the Tribune, the 4,740, is an addition of 4,387 plus the announced 353. That's what, that's what gives you 4,740. So the figures add up. The difference, what uh, the independent newspaper is reporting, is the actual amount that was uh, shortchanged uh, in, in the computation of the figures. So I'll quickly explain how, how this works. Um, when elections are conducted in the polling units, results are, uh, the, the ballot papers are counted. And then immediately after that, a resource sheet is filled out. That resource sheet is called the INEC form EC8A. I have one here. Okay, now the INEC form EC8A is filled out at each polling unit. Now all of these are taken by the party agents. Uh, copies are given to all the party agents present. And then all of them are taken, plus the INEC um, um, officials they are all taken to the Ward Collating Center. At the Ward Collating Center, a Form EC8B is filled out. Now, that Form EC8B is like a large summary sheet. It's a, it is a large summary sheet that has, that has for you the various units in that particular ward, okay, all the parties on the horizontal line and the vertical, the vertical lines would have the names of all the polling units in there. And then all the results scored by each one of them. Okay? Now, all of these numbers would be entered and then totaled at the far bottom of it. Okay. So, once this is done, this same from EC8B for each word would be taken to the local government level. At the local government level, every single form EC8B from each ward that makes up the local government are brought together and collated at that level. And that is the form EC8, that's the form EC8C. Now, the form EC8C will now exist for each local government. At this point, you would see the name of the local government up there, and that's the title, form EC8C. Now, it's the form EC8C that now comes to the state capital. That's the state coalition center. Now, that is what came to me during the coalition in Oshobo. Now, when this was going on, there were a few things that uh, came to light. We just randomly picked a few of the figures. When we, we, we operated, by the way, for this election, we operated a situation room, okay? Our internal processes was that for every result that was counted, announced, and recorded, okay, were recorded and then announced, our agents were to send those results to our situation room, okay? And that's the same, similar procedure that INEC has. They have their cadre there transmit to their own central database that does the e-collation that they do. So we, we simulate, we just try to mirror that so that we can maintain our own control. So the moment we saw figures that were conflicting with the figures that were transmitted to us from the unit, he sent immediately a red signal. So we narrowed down quickly. How do you I, verify the figures that were transmitted to you? Oh, the fi it's the form EC8A. So the form I, I, INEC has a copy of this? Yes. This is an INEC document. All these are INEC documents. These are copies that were given to parties for us to have. So how did this magical short changing happen? It's very funny, but <laughs> that's what happened. Okay, well, now, we did, okay go ahead, please. Yeah. 
when you look at the table, it, it, it won't be so clear here, but when you look at the table for each party, the scores recorded by, from each word, they are recorded along the line of each party. So these figures are entered in correctly, presumably. And then when those figures now add up at the totaling at the bottom, you now see figures that should ordinarily add up very simply start increasing in size. A figure that should add up to five will become suddenly seven. Figures that should be eight will now become 19 or 18. And those magical figures are figures that we're discovering. Are this manually, are this manually summed up, or is there a system that INEC uses to sum up the, the figures? They are manually summed up. Um, and one of the um, professors, now, INEC in trying to achieve integrity, ensured and, and the importance of uh, the local government coalition centers, did not appoint regular Joes like, uh, myself or they appointed professors to go to the local government coalition centers to act as the co local government coalition officers. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. I mean, it, it shows the level of importance. I'm trying to corroborate the level of importance. And then to now have simple addition errors happening at these levels, they become unbelievable and totally unacceptable. And for the fact that these additions come to determine the fate of about 4 million people, then we need to pay extra attention. Just, just to clarify is something here. Yes, sir. You have this document. Why? Because we have, as every party has this. APC has this document also. Okay. Every party is entitled to a copy of the results sheet from each of the election centers, okay. election and collating centers. So the polling units, you would have a copy of the result sheet, which is the form EC8A. At the collating center of the world, you would have a copy of your form EC8B. At the local government, you would have a copy of the local government collating result, the form EC8C. Okay. I just wanted to get that clarified. Yeah. Now, just to say here that we did reach out to APC in Oshun State but they refuse to respond to our invitation. So the conversation continues. Hopefully, they'll respond and they'll come in to give their own side of the story. Mr. Adeleke, the, they have been, yes, you've talked about this allegation of being shortchanged, votes being shortchanged, but then there is the other side of your party um, trying to muscle the people I mean, to buy votes and all of that, that, you were, that some of your people were caught with PVCs and they were arrested by oh, the police. That, that, that. What exactly? That, that, that's, um, that's very ridiculous. Um, the, the person uh, they are accusing of um, 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 in possession of PVCs was actually attacked in his home by APC thugs. Okay? He was trying to drive out of his home. He was attacked, damaged his vehicle. He called for help. He was rescued by um, civil defense operatives. Then he went to the police to lodge a complaint. Now, the same <laughs> thugs that came to attack him turned around and said, oh, they found PVCs in his vehicle. They found PVCs in his house. And then went and lodged a complaint and a counter complaint, you know, to, 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 to rope him in, as it were. Look. Uh, who has the resources to buy votes? Very simple logic. You have how many governors coming into Oshun to support APC? You have uh, an incumbent administration, okay, that recently magically got 16.6 .6 billion in a few days to the election, you know. And then you now think that a small family with a small business would have more money to waste and throw around in such illegalities as vote buying. No. Senator Nuruddin Ademola Adeleke is loved by the people. The, um, the amount of goodwill that Senator Nuruddin Ademola Adeleke and the Adeleke family enjoy in Oshu is unprecedented. The Oshu people decided to reward the, 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 the decades, I would say, decades 
of commitment of the Adoke family to the Oshu development by turning out in mass to vote for Sir Tony Randall. So there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, it's unfounded that anyone would, would conjure such allegations that uh, the PDP campaign had resources to want to buy votes. Now, it, it's, it's interesting, sir, that in Ede, where a serving commissioner of the Arab Bechelor administration was arrested, caught red-handed, that has not, such commissioner has not been arraigned, two um, APC uh, local government leaders from Iwo were caught red-handed with cash buying votes. Those have not been arranged. Were they caught buying the votes? Did you they, catch they, them by or did you just saw cash with them? No, no, no. We didn't catch them. The, 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 the security operatives caught them. And they, they, were, they, they were all pictured. They, 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 it's, it's there. If you should send your guys to the Uwo police station and um, uh, the other operatives, you'll, they'll, you'll, they'll, you'll, they'll, you'll see the records there. Those ones have not been arranged. Okay. It is a large if I dare call out. I went to lodge complaint of being, himself being attacked, his driver being stabbed and uh, macheted, that they are now arraigning for vote buying. Now we're going into the, the, the rerun elections. Yes. You're, you're in charge of strategy for um, uh, your, the PDP in your state. But one wonders, how prepared are you? Because uh, every litigation matters will come maybe much 